After five weeks of indulging in some of the most sinfully sweet delights in town, our last episode of Sugar Rush will end off on a slightly healthier note. We check out a less than one-year-old online business that offers low-sugar desserts in mini cups. Why the small size? Well, because the health-conscious entrepreneur behind Delcy's desserts believes that self-indulgences should always be a personal and intimate affair. <laughs> At the age of 24 last year, Singaporean Delcy Lam left the advertising industry to go full steam ahead with her lifelong passion in baking. Here she explains how her cup-sized desserts are guilt-free pleasures. Because there is a cupcake craze right now. So apart from the fact that you wanted to break out the convention, why do you choose desserts in cups? Hmm. What makes desserts in cups better than cupcakes, for instance? Okay. Uh, cupcakes. The recipe is actually high in sugar, although as much as you can actually reduce the sugar level in the cake itself, but the icing you can never replace the recipe because it's all filled with icing sugar, and with any lesser proportion of that, the icing would not be formed. Uh, couldn't be formed. That's what I meant. So this is in cups. Uh, when I create a recipe, I have. This thought of like you know I'm the baker, so I need to have something that is low low in carb and low in sugar and low in calories, so that when I do my tasting, I won't be you know going expanding <laughs> sideways. Yeah, so uh, so that's why I make I make it a point that uh, yeah the sugar level is low, the fat content is low. So in comparison to normal cheesecake, if I were to base my cheese mousse desserts uh, with that, uh, the sugar level is 70% lesser and the fat content is 80% lesser. You branded your brand as Singapore's low sugar, healthy dessert choice. So how do you justify that it is healthy? What's what's the uh, yardstick? Okay, uh, my base crust uh, is a unique uh, recipe which I I ensure that I use raw sugar, uh, not any uh, commercial white sugar, as well as I use olive oil instead in, in replace of butter. So this way, um, my fat level is also lower. It's healthier in a way, and uh, raw sugar is a, uh, is the most raw form of sugar. It's unprocessed. Yes, and my cheese mousse, I don't even add any sugar at all in the mixture. Mm. So how, I mean, if we're not using sugar at all, do you use artificial sweeteners to sweeten up? Because desserts are supposed to be sweet, right? How do you bring out the sweetness without using real sugar? Um. Well, this one you have to taste in order to 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 justify the sweetness of the dessert. But I don't use any artificial sugar at all, because uh, it, it is researched and it's known that it's not any healthier. Yeah. Ah, the lovely perks of being a baker. Delcy reveals how she threw parties in order to do research before starting her business. When I was uh, doing the development part of it, uh, the, the first three months, I did a soft launch uh, at my uh, condominium, um, what do you call that, clubhouse. So from there, I actually invite all my friends and my family to come down and let them know that hey, you know, I'm actually developing this dessert range and I'm going to launch it as a my, as my full time business. So I I threw parties and it's it's not a weekly affair. It's like a every fortnight affair. And I and I get people to come down and I give them free desserts. So from there, I get their feedbacks, and uh, you know, whether is it too sweet? Hey, is it too filling? Is like how big the portion of uh, the dessert should be? Just right, you know, after a big meal, or uh, let's say if it's just a birthday party. So I was playing out with the proportion. I was playing out with the sugar level, and uh, as well as the presentation. Mm, so it's more like a training period for me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any idea that that was your market research actually? Throwing by throwing them, you know, free dessert parties. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they actually know that they are my guinea pigs, uh, so <laughs> so they are like very willing to come. So some even uh, invited their friends to come because it's like, hey, you know, like let's go for a party, uh, you know, tonight because like there's free dessert, so like why not? <laughs> you must be very popular among your group of friends right now, yeah. Uh, yeah, they know me as like the sweetest girl. And it's like yeah, because I always get the sweetest girl, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. Mm. Now, um, your recipes. Um, you took three months to finalize your own unique recipes. You didn't just take them from you know baking books or from online, right? How do you? Um, I mean, are you going to patent these recipes? Uh, not exactly. The reason why I don't patent, I, I I'm not planning to patent my recipes because I don't believe there's a a recipe that is very unique. Uh, all recipes are different and unique on its own. But it ultimately, is it depends who is the baker that is baking with that recipe. 
because if a baker doesn't have a passion, doesn't have the passion, and doesn't have, uh, you know, the understanding how the ultimate product would taste, would feel, would look like, um, you probably wouldn't, you know, be able to achieve all that. Uh, given the same recipe, the recipe that I actually developed, I can give to another baker, and she or he may not develop the same taste uh, and the final, um, the, the the final Delcy's desserts, which I call it my, uh, you know, unique. Want to find out how Delcy makes her famously delicious ring brownies? Stay tuned to watch a live demo.